Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream and today's video is going to be about problem solving. Because it's rainy season we've had a little bit of a problem last week with regard to both toilets in our house backed up so we couldn't use them for a couple of days. Now this also happened last year and it happened on two occasions in the whole of rainy season so we just thought it's one of them things. But now we're sort of a month into rainy season here and the toilet, both toilets were backed up for three days so you couldn't flush the toilets without them overflowing so we knew there was a problem now our house because we live in the countryside there's a septic tank system so there's a septic tank and then there's an overflow tank and then the water from there drains away into the drain system so that's the septic tank had never been emptied in the six years that we've lived here and who knows when it was emptied before we thought that was the problem the fact that the septic tank was full so we, we called the guy in to come and get it emptied and there was two tanks that needed emptying so that cost us a thousand baht, 500 baht each tank that needed to be emptied. Now the second one was obviously the, the overflow so when he emptied the second one you could see that the water was draining into it from the land so it was coming in quite fast as well so within an hour of him leaving both the tanks were full again and then back to square one with regard to not being able to flush the toilet so we knew we had to do something as water was leaking into the secondary tank so the drain from the second tank was in my opinion set a little bit high so any extra water that went into there should have drained away without affecting the first septic tank but it just filled that water tank up and then that backfilled into the septic tank which then stopped the toilets from flushing. So the answer to this where I thought of, I googled everything that could possibly be wrong and the solution was, quite a cheap solution, was to put a immersible pump in there. So we went to Thai what to do to, to get an immersible pump and the cheapest pump that was there was 2500 baht. And that was with a seven day warranty so that was that wasn't going to be okay and the pump with the year's guarantee was 4500 well i've already looked on lazada and seen i could get a an immersible pump for 1575 baht with the year's guarantee so we said okay let's get one from lazada let's just put up with it for another day so a couple of days at the very most and i was able to empty some of the water out of the tank anyway it was slowly draining out anyway through the overflow i managed to put a hose pipe in there as well and help drain the system a little bit faster enough for the water to be able to drain out so we could use the toilets anyway so about fitting this immersible pump i've only fitted it temporarily for now just to to get the water out and see what the levels are going to be because we live in a high water table area anyway and in front of us and behind us and all around us there are lakes anyway so the water table is naturally high around this area anyway. So anyway, watch my video with regard to fitting this immersible pump. I only did it temporarily just to get rid of the water so we could use the toilets properly and I've set it now to a height that sort of follows the natural lie of the water table. And if it gets any higher than that, then it'll switch on automatically and empty. So enjoy the video. Yeah, and our toilets are all blocked up we've had a lot of rain for two or three days and both our toilets are all backed up so we've never had the septic tank clean so now we're getting the the man who's going to clean the septic tanks i'll let you know how much it costs when it's done so we're going to set the immersible pump to where the tank gets three quarters full then it comes on automatically so I'm going to wire it all in, put it all in properly, but for now it's just there just to empty this tank so I can see what's actually going on in there. So hopefully that will stop the toilets getting backfilled. It happened twice last year for two days and this, this year it lasted for three days. So we knew then something had to be done. So just over there we have lakes around there just by them trees then at the back of the house we have lakes also so the water table so the water table here is pretty high so yeah so it's not unreasonable to expect some water purging or leaking into the into the tank so what I thought was going to be an expensive fix has turned out to be 
not a so expensive fix and there's always ways and means of of doing this so the pump cost us 1575 baht a little bit of time and effort to set the pump up and that solves the problems as I say that there's a year's guarantee on the pump we went to Thai what to do to go buy a pump from there on the day it happened because it was just sort of we want it empty so we can use the toilet and when the guy came and emptied both the the cesspit and the overflow he charged us a thousand baht to empty, empty both of them and within an hour after he left both tanks were full again and the toilets were backed up so we knew the problem was the overflow tank and the water seeping into there then it backfilled the the cesspit tank so we had people suggesting dig up the concrete floor put a new tank in oh that's going to cost a fortune to do that it's six inches thick this concrete and then what other problems are you going to find once you start doing that um, so the cheaper solution was to buy this immersible pump for 1575 baht and if that fixes the problem no need to dig up the, the floor no need to fix the, the water tank it only happens during rainy season dry season there's maybe four or five inches of water in the bottom of the tank so we don't have that problem so sometimes there's an easy solution to what seems to be going to be a, an expensive difficult thing to repair and but thankfully Google was my friend and I looked into all sorts of problems what what is going to cause this problem and when the guy emptied the tank I seen the problem and it's just the the rainwater coming off the land from behind us and at the side of us which has found a hole into the tank but for now this little immersible pump is a lifesaver. It's changed, it's changed everything. It's gone from not being able to use the toilets for two or three days to now being able to use the toilets and everything's hunky dory again. So it wasn't an expensive job to fix and it is fixable. So I hope it's helped some people out if they have a problem with their septic tanks. So from there's retired and living the dream. Till the next video, bye for now.